I just wanted to take a moment and give an example as to why it's important to move your feed troughs and your water troughs inside your pasture for not only the health of the soil but also your livestock. As you can see here, pretty much grass, pretty green, and then I take our water trough, which is down there, and I move it every two fence posts every so often. Now that varies with rain, how dry it is, it varies with uh, the height of the grass, etc. But as you can see where I'm standing here, the grass is pretty green. I think, I, be I believe I started at this fence post right here early this spring. The next one here, the next one's here, and then you can kind of see that uh, the slow regrowth of this area. Then I skip an area. Now, this is where it was in the previous stage. The grass is starting to come back in a little bit, but I probably left it here a little too long. Uh, we're getting into the really hot part of the year and it's going to be harder for it to recover. So this is where the water trough currently is. I just dumped all the water out getting ready to move it. And uh, yes, this is the insides of a toilet tank. So uh, it works the same as a plum. So whenever water fills up, this fills up, the float comes up, locks, shuts water off. Pretty simple design. You can pick it up at any hardware store. Just got to have a little DIY. So down here is where we left our water trough for years. Now with purpose, but we did leave it here for years. And you can just see there's hardly any regrowth. I've thrown a bunch of hay and straw down. And uh, I'm probably going to have to reseed this area. But uh, the reason why we had it here is the slope gave it a nice drop. If the water ever overran, which it does at times, it would go right into this creek bed here. But uh, I'm being a little more active this year on our trough management, per se. And uh, there's some flies here, which you can see they're attracted to the, not only the color, but the coolness of the water trough. Now, I take a few steps this direction where there's the grass, Less dirt, less exposed dirt anyways. And uh, I am the same color as a water trough and no flies. So I will be moving it today and trying to get some of the fly exposure away from our cattle. Now our feed troughs, uh, we just typically throw our hay right on the ground in areas that need nutrients. Um, so yes, they will waste a little bit of the hay, but uh, what they don't eat, they will defecate and urinate on and push those nutrients back into the soil attached to the carbon matter, which is the hay. But our feed troughs, which is pretty much mineral and corn, uh, and a little bit of other grain, they create dead spots. There is salt in it, so when the cows are flailing their heads when they're eating, swatting flies, whatever, they uh, will drop some of that salt and they'll push that into the soil and it'll dry up areas, kill grass, etc. So, right here. An example of something that we move frequently. 
Um, I am able to push it with the front of my four-wheeler. So typically it's on a straight line here. So you can see our areas where we move it almost every day. Grass looks great. Uh, wish it was a little bit taller. I do need to move the cows into a different pasture here. But you can see this little bit of a dead area here is where I left the feed trough just a little too long. Now, uh, bear with me here as I walk over to where our feed troughs were last year and where we definitely left the feed troughs in one area way too long and uh, pretty much created a dead area that it's gonna be kind of a bit of a project to restore. Um, probably gonna have to get some compost in and put uh, different kind of organic matters down, keep the cows off of it until we get some grass growing again. But here is the areas where we were feeding them over a year ago. Nothing. It's uh, as dry as it gets. So, yeah, it's nice going to the same place time and time again. Uh, it's easy to create a nice path, whether you're on four-wheeler or foot, horse, whatever, whatever your truck. Um, yeah, that's nice. But just move it, like 10 feet, every day. If you don't have 10 feet to move it every day, I don't know what to tell you. Every other day, something. But don't let it sit in one area for too long. It's not worth it. Don't do it. 